Welcome to day 168 of our Big Cloud journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my twin brother, Brian. And you know, yesterday in our video, we discussed how there were some people getting frustrated because there's no real roadmap as far as what's coming on Big Cloud. We know, you know, we know the referral program's coming, we know the new front end's coming, we know Coinbase listing's coming, but there's no really time frame or set date or just a general roadmap even. And it's funny because early this morning, Diamond Hands, he essentially applied, responded to our concerns in a, in a post he made, a post thread that he made. And he touched on, he touched on this and he touched on why they haven't really been able to give a roadmap. And he also kind of gave us a roadmap of sorts. Uh, so, you know, it's hard. And you, as a, as a CEO of a company, I know Diamond Hands not a CEO, but he's leading the charge on Big Cloud. You want the media involved. You want the media to cover you. You want them to be excited and help you get the word out about your platform. And you have to kind of use media as a tool. Brian and I know this because we've run several media sites over the year. We used to run a 3D printing news site and we ran a political news site. And going back to the 3D printing news site, it was always important that we got the story first. We always wanted to get the story out first. And that's how the media works. They wanna be the first ones to break a story. So it makes it hard for Diamond Hands and for BitCloud's core team to really release too much information because then the information slowly leaks out. And when it actually does happen, there's nobody, the media can't break the story because everybody already knew about it. So it kind of disincentivizes the media from covering it. So yeah, I definitely yeah. understand that point. Yeah, I feel like he's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. I think the entire core team is they want to tell the community all the exciting things they're working on and show them that they aren't just sitting back and watching things slow up. They're actually working their butts off trying to push things forward. And they have so many exciting things in the works, but at the same time, they can't, they can't release all this information. But what Diamond Hands has done is he's provided sort of a roadmap and he provided a list of, I think, nine different things that they're working on. And we, we went back and we, we sifted through them all and we kind, of, we kind of categorized them as coming within the next week, coming within this month of September, and then unknown. We don't know exactly when it's coming, but it's coming. And, and, and like Don Hans noted, we had to note that these timeframes could change. Because, right. you know, you don't know if you run into a bug, you don't know if you come up with some other issue that needs to be fixed beforehand. So these are rough estimates. And I, I think really when any website or any company comes out with launch dates of interactive product, products on the internet, it's hard to really say that's a set date for with certainty. Right. I, I mean, if you look at like Apple, they, they usually wait before announcing their date to reveal their next iPhone because they understand that things can be pushed back. They can't say, hey, in a year, we're gonna announce our next iPhone on September 22nd because they don't know what if a supplier is cut short and they, they can't get their hands on the, the next A15 chip for their new iPhone. All right, enough, enough about Apple, Apple, Brian. Enough about Apple. Enough about Apple. Apple. Let's, let's go on to the, let, let, let's go to the roadmap. And I, I think that we will just jump right into it. We'll, we'll go over some of the things that Diamond Hands touched on, and we'll briefly say what, what our thoughts are on each of these features. And I think we'll start with what's coming this, this next week or so, and that is derived keys and the, also the ability to, to buy, to not to buy, but to burn and transfer NFTs. And Diamond Hands made it clear that the ability to burn and transfer NFTs are not going to immediately be put on the BitCloud main node, the bitcloud.com main node, uh, they are gonna be, that these features are gonna be available to third parties. So if you wanna see Supernova allowing for burning or if you wanna see Polygram or any of the other uh, NFT nodes allowing for it, I think that's gonna happen. I think that's a great, it's great. We've all been waiting for it. And I think we'll soon see it on bitcloud.com. I think that they just haven't gotten around to that yet. Yeah, and what about derived keys? Derived keys, I think that means that you're going to be able to give others access to your account without giving away your seed phrase. Yeah, this is important. Um, that's how I understand it too. So for instance, 
if we wanted to have somebody manage our account because we get so famous, which isn't going to happen, uh, we could give our key for yourself. to you know, <laughs> we could give our key to an employee and say, hey, not our key, but a derived key. So we could make a separate key, and maybe this separate key will have certain permissions. I'm guessing where they maybe can't buy and sell a coin, but they can make posts or they can maybe diamond up to a certain amount, or who knows how it's going to Perhaps function. you can give them permissions. I don't know. Maybe you can say, I want this person to be able to only check and send emails or DMs. I want this person to only be able to control my wallet. I want this person to only be able to make posts. I don't know. I, I'm excited to find out, though, and I think that's a great thing, especially for celebrities. You know, like celebrities might want to give, give somebody access to their account to make posts for them. And, but they don't want to give away their seed phrase. And right now, you know, they have to give away that seed phrase. Yeah. So like anybody managing a celebrity's account could basically go and sell off all the coins they have, including their own coin, and then transfer that to an anonymous wallet. And, and that celebrity would be screwed over. So derived keys are important. And it seems like they're coming probably next week sometime. Uh, that, those are the two things that, that Diamond Hand said were coming within the next week or so. Now, the next month, this is where some of the exciting stuff comes in. And I think number one, the biggest thing is an Ethereum on ramp. Uh, you're going to be able to buy BitCloud on BitCloud or buy cloud on BitCloud.com using Ethereum. So basically a swap of Ethereum to BitCloud to cloud. And this is huge, in my opinion, because so many people within crypto use Ethereum as sort of a, a medium of exchange. And it also... We saw yes. We saw two days ago. Uh, Vitalik, the founder of uh, founder of Ethereum, posted that right now the Ethereum gas fees for NFTs are totally out of hand, and something needs to be done. They're working on some things, but it's going to take a while. And the fact that people using Ethereum are basically the main NFT collectors are going to be able to, to, to basically swap that Ethereum for Cloud, and BitCloud itself is a is a thriving, super affordable NFT minting platform is huge in my opinion. I, 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 I think that I think it's really big for NFTs because you have artists on OpenSea, Foundation, Rarible, Super Rare, and the plethora of other NFT platforms, and the vast majority of them are using Ethereum. I guess the only exception would be um, Tezos and Hickenup. Hickenup uses Tezos, but the idea that you know an artist could sell an NFT for a ton of money on OpenSea and then find an NFT that they want to spend that money on on BitCloud, they don't have to transfer that Ethereum into Bitcoin and then transfer that Bitcoin through like a blockchain or buy it through uh, BitCloud.com into cloud in order to buy that NFT. They'd just be able to easily take that money from their wallet that they have on OpenSea essentially, and then buy cloud with that in order to buy the NFT. So, I mean, I think that's a huge, huge, huge thing that's going to help the onboarding process of both artists and collectors of NFTs on Big Cloud. Yeah, it's going to immediately cut out several steps, several middlemen, and obviously several different sets of fees that somebody would have to pay in order to transfer Ethereum to cloud. So that's this is going to be huge. And, and I think that they've actually put other things off, including notifications so that they can get this Ethereum on ramp onto BitCloud. Um, the next thing is a secret large launch. And that's all we know. Like we hear so much within DAC channels of, of what's coming. Uh, I think some of the VCs probably give out hints, but I haven't heard anything about what this is going to be. And I, I'm clueless. What do you think? I, I have no idea either. You know, maybe, maybe, um, maybe Twitter's going to become a big cloud node. <laughs> yeah, right. No, that's, as, that's as not Elon Musk joins. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, who knows what's going to happen? But you know, they're keeping this top secret probably for so they can get some media attention for it. Uh, you know, they probably have embargoed releases that are scheduled with the media, or they will, and. Th that's going to coincide with the launch. So I'm excited about this. You know, this is coming sometime in September if all goes as planned. And what's today? Today's September 9th. So we have approximately three weeks left in September. Yeah. Not even. And, and, and like I said, they put, put notifications on hold for the secret, whatever the secret launch is going to be, and Ethereum. 
So we're probably going to be seeing them soon. And then after that, we'll see notifications. Now, let's, uh, there's one other thing, and that's the, the new user interface, the new front end. That's coming this month. I actually expect you to see it by now, but Diamond Hand is really excited about it. Uh, we saw mock-ups of it about a month ago. I don't know if it changed at all. Um, what we saw, we really liked. Um, I'm guessing that it probably changed a little bit from then. I, I, I think that I think everything changes when you're working with the developer community, and uh, and it, I'm excited too. I, I think that's going to be big. It's going to kind of be the relaunch of BitCloud. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, you, you know, I think it's all kind of coming together and that's going to be like the ultimate you know where everything comes together so i'm excited about that i think i think it's going to be great for the relaunch you know people are going to be able to come onto the website and not feel like they're back in 1998 uh some people like the like the 1998 feeling but um i, I mean i, I kind of like it but i i think you know there it's just a fresh fresh look for the platform and i think that's really important yeah, and so, uh, so that, 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 let's move on to what's coming without a date. And and before I do this, I need to take a drink of my protein shake because I'm running out of energy because there's so much to talk about this morning. Okay, I'm refreshed. Okay, so coming soon, which it could be this month, maybe next month. I'm guessing it's closer to next month. And that's multiple new exchanges. We've all been hearing about Coinbase. Uh, we know that they've been working with Coinbase. Brian Armstrong and Coinbase Ventures was a, a major investor early on in BitCloud. So Coinbase is likely one of those exchanges. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of other ones too. But Diamond Hands touched on this and said that there's there's issues around exchanges because it's it's more difficult than an ordinary crypto because of various reasons. I don't want to get too deep into them because I don't totally understand it all. But exchanges are coming and that's going to be incredibly important that's going to be where when things but right now everybody nobody everybody can't use blockchain we can't use blockchain because we're in florida I, there's plenty of na other nations i think europe in europe that can't use blockchain so so we need more exchanges that's definitely big uh should we should i keep going or do you want to touch on that really fast no yeah i think you know i think you got everything exchanges are big coinbase the hugest exchanger of them all I think that's, you know, the ultimate when it comes to getting listed on exchange. And, you know, I think the Coinbase listing itself is just going to kind of have a domino effect and other exchange are going to be like, okay, Coinbase has big cloud now, we have to get him. So, I mean, it's, and it, it just legitimizes the, the platform and the cryptocurrency being on Coinbase. Right, and so, uh, so native video, that's something else that's coming soon with no date given. And you know what I found interesting? Somebody asked him about streaming video too. And Diamond Man said that while it's not going to be included in version one of the native video, it is something that they're working on. So, I, I mean, that's awesome. Imagine being a stream video and they're planning to do it in a decentralized manner or at least more decentralized. Like right, right now, images are being stored on bigcloud.com and images.bigcloud.com which is essentially on the domain bitcloud.com, which is centralized. So I'm not sure how video is gonna work, but they plan on doing it in a way that is more decentralized. And I don't, I can't even think of how they would go about doing that, but it's gonna be- Whatever they're gonna do, whatever they're gonna do, I'm guessing they're gonna also move the images over to that, whatever system it is, just so that it's more secure. And if bitcloud.com fades away, you want to know that these images are still there, especially if people are minting NFTs without backing them up uh, in, a, in any other way. So I, I think that's important. Uh, native native video, everybody's been asking for it since the beginning. It's We've all been thinking, I've been personally thinking it, it's not going to be possible, but I, it's, it appears it's going to be coming and that's going to be big. Next, and that's huge video. for NFTs. That's huge yeah. for NFTs as well because people want to be able to mint videos as NFTs, but right now, yeah, you do it by uploading it to YouTube or Vimeo and that or TikTok and then embedding that into your post and then minting that post. So it's, it kind of makes the video NFTs not really video NFTs because they're on YouTube and you know it's just just kind of you really own this YouTube video. It's, it's hard to really say. Yeah. That. So native videos are going to be huge for NFTs. You know, I, I think with the big cloud kids, it'll be interesting. It'll be cool if we could upload a MP4 file instead of a GIF. 
as the as an NFT, and then have that loop on the on the system. So I mean, I mean, I think that's going to be great. Yeah. So let's move on. Um, notifications. We've all been talking about them. This is really important. Uh, I would have liked to see this prior to any of this other stuff, but I do think it's they're having probably a difficult time coming up with the right system for this. Um, we do need notifications, especially with the NFTs. Now, imagine getting outbid on an NFT and instantly getting a notification on your phone. Up, oh, I was just outbid on this on this cloud pump. I'm gonna have to bid. Let's read. Let's up that bid. You know, so notifications for NFTs are huge. Notifications all around are what retain users and get people to engage more. When you get a notification that somebody replied on your post, you're going to usually see it on your phone and you can reply quickly. Otherwise, you have to go, go to your notification stream and you got to look through everything. This way, maybe you can select what notifications you want to see on your phone, which ones you don't. You might only want to see coin buys or people that comment. You might not want to see likes. You might not want to see diamonds. So it's going to, it's going to enhance the engagement. Uh, it's going to help retain people because they're going to constantly get a reminder that they're on BitCloud when they get a notification. But with that said, CloudFeed and Check BitCloud both have a notification feature that you can use right now. Right. Yeah. And, and those are great, both great apps, and I recommend them both. Uh, moving on, uh, there's really only one other thing and then some small things, but uh, the referral program, they've been waiting on the referral program. I think they want to wait for the new front end and they want to wait for whatever the secret launch is before, before enabling the referral program. They want, when people are getting referred and you get this mass stream of traffic, they want to be ready. They want the platform to be ready. They don't want another March happening where everybody comes on and everything's not in place and perfect. And I, I don't think it's going to be perfect, but I, I think that they want things to be kind of complete. And uh, that's why we have a more finished product. product. They want it to be a more finished product. It's never going to be a finished product just because of the way Big Cloud is operated. You know, there's always going to be new features added onto it. But I think they want a, a product that feels finished and that feels ready for the mainstream. And I don't blame them. I, I, I don't think they should release a referral program until they, they're really confident about how the platform looks and how the platform is functioning. Yeah, and, and it's actually ready. The, the referral program is ready, they say. They're just waiting for the perfect time to, to drop it, to launch it. And finally, lots of small things, Diamond, said, Diamond Hand says. And that's coming. That Little things are going to be dropping throughout the next few days, weeks, and months ahead. Uh, these could be minor changes to the user interface. Uh, any of the NFT features that may have been requested, I'm assuming. But uh, we're going to see a steady stream of improvements, and that, that's really good. Yeah, and he, he did mention in a reply about the um, blue check marks, and they are they are still working on something. Uh, it's going to use associations in order to help verify, but they kind of put that on the backtrack while they do the do the rest of the development on the platform. But I, I do think they're they have a solution in mind using these associations, and it's going to be interesting. You hear uh, Dr. Kat Cohen talk about associations a lot, and she has a dinner with. Um, with Diamond Hand it's coming up very soon. And I expect her to ask him a lot about associations and she might be able to lend a hand in helping them develop some sort of verification program as well. Yeah, that dinner is actually, I think September 27th. I'm pretty sure that's the date. So it's coming up within a, like two or three weeks. Uh, one final thing I think before we close this video out is that we also yesterday touched on the lull the low in user engagement, new users coming on board, and just the general the general feel of the platform. I think it's just kind of slow. There's less coin buys, it seems, less daily actives. Diamond Hands touched on this, and he said he's not worried about this at all, and that the core user group that we have right now, who are sticking around, they're gonna they're gonna act as kind of like a springboard for the second launch, the launch of BitCloud 2.0, because there's gonna be this core team of users who know, know so much about the platform, can help people when they come on board and are really interconnected with one another. I can't stress enough how important it is to be an early adopter and having so many connections with so many people because that's in the future, that's gonna help us all, I think. Yeah, I, I agree, you know, I, I think early adopters are gonna be ones who benefit the most when this does go main if this goes mainstream. 
Yeah, but yeah, I think that's a good place to leave off. Do we have anything else to touch on today? Uh, uh, tomorrow, we're going to have a special guest. Uh, we did a utility NFT, uh, Darian Parrish. He's going to be joining us, and we'll talk to him about what he's doing with BitCloud. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, and yeah, I think that's a good place to leave off, day 168. And we'll talk to you guys tomorrow.